guys, and welcome to another Veg Inspired video. This time we're talking French fries. Well, in our case it's a fryless fry, but it's just in time for National French Fry Day. So in the Veg Inspired kitchen, we are cast iron cooking fanatics. So for this recipe, we highly recommend this Lodge cast iron pizza pan. No, this is not sponsored. But we know everybody doesn't have cast iron pans, so we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison using a baking sheet, which later will line with parchment paper. First things first, let's get these pans in the oven and the oven heated to 450. So while the pans are heated up, we are going to get these potatoes cut. These are just organic russet potatoes that we're going to cut into wedges. We wash them with this adorable little spud brush. So let's get cutting. We like to flip these potatoes over and give them a nice seasoning of some salt and pepper. We put them skin side down so that it gets both sides, makes it easier and you don't have to flip all the potatoes. So while the oven's preheating, we'll get these all flipped over, make sure that they're nice and seasoned. sprinkling using my trick I learned from Ruby kind of do it on the from the top of your hand like this and a little pepper love this pepper mill fresh ground pepper anytime we want it All right, so the potatoes are seasoned and the oven just beat that it is heated and ready to go. So we're gonna get these pans out of the oven, get the potatoes on them and get them baking away. Okay, so in order to prep this pan, we grab a little bit of oil. We just put a thin layer of oil on here. Um, sticking with our as close to oil free as possible. This just helps to Keep the potatoes from sticking and keeps the cast iron pan nice and seasoned. So we get as thin of a layer as possible. We want it to be even. Now we'll get the potatoes on. This is the sizzle. Once you get them on there, you don't really want to move them around too much. For our side-by-side -side comparison, we took this baking sheet and preheated it in the oven alongside the cast iron skillet. We're going to lay a pre-cut or pre-prepared piece of parchment paper on, and now we're going to lay our potatoes on. The cast iron pan, we typically bake them for roughly 15 to 20 minutes, and then we flip them over. Um, normally when we place the potatoes on, we can hear a sizzle. We are not hearing that with these. So I am anxious to see how these turn out completely oil free. Just a couple more. 
and then we'll get this pan in the oven next to its cast iron friend. So those will go for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll check them. Typically on the cast iron we see that they start to release when they're ready. So we'll see how it works with the parchment paper lined. Alright, well I smell potatoes and it's been about 20 minutes so we're going to give these a check. Well, they look nice and ready. Let's check them. Oh my gosh, they are delicious. Nice and puffy, golden brown. Alright, so back in the oven for about 10 minutes for these, and then we'll get out the comparison pan. They're giving it, they move around too. When we give them a shake, see what their other side looks like. Ooh, nice and brown on this side. It might just work, heating up the pan and then tossing lining it with parchment paper. Okay, we'll put these back in for about 10 minutes as well. So the fries on the cast iron pan are pretty much done. We're gonna pull those out and uh, get them on our serving dish while the fries on the um, baking sheet lined with parchment paper finish up. All right, it's time to check the fries that are on the, bar the baking sheet and parchment paper. Let's pull those out and see how they look. Well, they got brown and crispy, that's for sure. We might have a new way to do this. They're not nearly as brown and crispy as the cast iron. But the cast iron, they probably could go fit maybe 15 minutes and they'd be about this color. Uh, we like them a little more crispy, so we left them in a little longer, but even that side on these. So side by side, looking at them from here, you can't even really tell which one came from which. So now it's gonna be the taste test. So these ones over here came off the baking sheet lined with parchment. These ones, these browner and crispier ones, came off the cast iron um, with a thin, thin, super thin, super thin layer of oil. We've got a couple of dipping sauces here that we're gonna give a try. This one is a Belgian style, which is ketchup mayonnaise and tabasco that's the veg inspired chef's favorite this is a little play on a tartar sauce and this is a new one for us that's why i've only made a little bit it is ketchup mayo and some smoked paprika i don't know guys they kind of look the same it's hard to tell which one came off of which the taste test will tell all right, well, here we are. We're wrapping up our side-by-side -side comparison for our potato wedge french fries, or fryless fries, baked potato wedges, I suppose. So on this side, we have the ones that came off of the cast iron skillet. They were in for 20 minutes on the first side and about 10 minutes on the second side. We think that might have been a little too long. Typically, we, uh, we stick with about 15 minutes, but we were trying to compare them to the baking sheet. Um, these are the baking sheet ones, and from looking at them, they they look really similar. You could certainly get the same coloring results um, using the baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You could even lighten up your um, cast iron ones by leaving them in less on the first side, so maybe about 15 minutes. Um, 
They smell the same, they, they kind of feel the same. This one feels a little denser, um, but they puffed up the same. They, they, really, they really do seem similar. So let's try the cast iron one first. Just have a quick dipping sauce here. It's mayonnaise, a little bit of lime, lemon juice, and some um, dill pickles. Tastes like a good potato wedge. It's chewy on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Um, it doesn't really have that overpowering potato mush feeling. It's nice and cooked, cooked well through. So let's give the baking sheet one a try. Mmm. That one's a little bit denser on the inside. Um, seems like this is lighter and airier. But overall, you get really great results. I think that you could be happy either using the cast iron pan or the baking sheet lined with parchment. Again, we have tried it on a cold baking sheet and the results just don't seem to be the same. So this time we did preheat that baking sheet um, along along with the oven and the results seem to be, to be pretty close to our cast iron. So I hope you guys are inspired now to grab some russet potatoes and make some potato wedges. Um, again, we still stand by our recommendation on the cast iron. But if you want to go something with absolutely no oil, throw that baking sheet in the oven, preheat it to about 450, throw um, a parchment paper on it, get your potatoes in, roughly 20 minutes on the first side and about 15 on the second side, and voila, you have oil-free potato wedges just in time for National Potato, National French Friday, sorry. Hope you enjoyed this veg-inspired video. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more veg inspired videos until next time eat more plants live and live veg inspired